Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Abba. Hi, this is Cooking Abba. Last night I was watching YouTube and I saw uh, Mark Wayne uh, eating uh, this Chinese, uh, no, this uh, uh, pot fried fish uh, hot pot in uh, Singapore. Then uh, it looks so good. So I decided to make it myself. Of course, uh, I don't have hot pot at home, but um, I'm just going to make it into a fish soup instead of hot pot. Yeah, it's just a different style of serving. Now, uh, I have I saw happen to have a Chinese prawn fruit, a very nice Chinese prawn fruit fish with me, cut into colors here, and uh, the soup base of that particular uh, hot pot is actually chicken stock. So I have one big. Uh, bowl of chicken stock here and I'm going to mix it with some hot water as well and then I also see in that video on top there are some seaweeds yeah this is the Chinese style of dried seaweeds few pieces uh, to make the hot pot more uh, more varieties I'm going to add in some uh, this is um, king oyster mushroom cut into slices Chinese cabbage and one piece of uh, smooth tofu here you can use traditional tofu as well and this is to help to um, to uh, balance the flavor of the fish uh, it's actually to remove the fishy smell at the same time to enhance the flavor of the soup itself this is a few pieces of um, ginger slices this is uh, uh, this is green onion yeah and then I have two stalks of uh, uh, this is uh, fresh coriander, including the roots. Okay, I'm still I'm I chop up everything and I'm together with the uh, coriander roots and I'll put in I'll add in the roots as well. Do not throw away the coriander roots. It's actually very fragrant. You can eat it also. Yeah, and this dish is very simple. It will be done in uh, less than ten minutes, I think. Okay, many people bought Appa's dolphin roll recently. Uh, I'm not the one who sells okay you're actually buying directly from the uh, Thermos Malaysia and it's only available in Malaysia okay it's not available yet in Singapore I will, but I'm I try to get my manager to talk to Thermos Malaysia to see whether they can um, do something with, with, with Thermos Singapore okay anyway uh, whenever you're using a th uh, non um, standard steel wall you have to add oil in cold wall then only you raise the heat by doing so, it will actually reduce the sticking problem, okay? Uh, many people ask, Appa, Appa, is your wok non-stick? Is your wok non-stick? Actually, I haven't seen a standard steel wok which is non-stick. La. Tada! La. No. La. <laughs> um, if you want a non-stick wok, you have to buy those tefal, you know, uh, those black color kind of thing. Black color surface, I also have. Okay, so we want to saute uh, the ginger and the onion. I don't mind adding the, the fresh coriander roots. Ah, very fragrant, especially coming from the fresh coriander roots. Okay, once you can smell the flavors coming up, this is the time where you can actually add in the chicken stock. I actually use chicken feet to make the chicken stock. This is not enough, I'm going to add in some hot water. Okay. And let's bring this to a boil before we continue. We'll come back shortly. Okay, it is now boiling and all my ingredients today is actually very easy to be cooked, including the fish. So I'm, I'm going to put every, almost everything together at the same time. The veggie on the first layer. Um, this is the um, king oyster mushroom on the second layer. The tofu. You can use any type of tofu you like, okay? And my corn fruit fish it's 
So bring this to a boil and let it boil for probably two, three to five minutes and it is basically almost done. I will put the this uh, seaweeds towards the end and also the fresh coriander towards the end as well. So just bring this to a boil and let this boil for three to five minutes and then we can just finish it up. Okay, it has been boiling for the past three minutes. I'm going to put in the seaweeds, zi cai, okay? Which it will get softened very fast. See? Immediately it gets softened. And then I'm just going to uh, do some final seasoning before uh, I serve it. It's actually almost considered 99% done. Just I'm going to give it some salt. Okay, adjust using salt. And I'm going to add in a little bit of sugar. If you don't like to add sugar into your soup, you don't have to. The... Uh, Sugar is actually meant to uh, increase the um, um, the salt will be able to absorb better by the ingredient if after adding the sugar. Okay, and then let me off it. Don't put too much of your the seaweeds, yeah, because it will expand a lot. All right. Before we serve, a few dashes of white pepper. Okay, you can add in a little bit of fish sauce if you want. Up to you. Okay, actually, actually it will be good if you add a little bit of fish sauce, I think. Alright, so that's, that's it. Very simple but uh, very hearty food. Uh, definitely good, especially when the weather is pretty cool. Yeah, And uh, Chinese, Chinese prawn fried is definitely one of my uh, most favorite fish. You can also use uh, normal white prawn fried. You can also, use, or you want to use uh, other white fish. Some people ask me actually how to... Uh, how to determine what fish to use uh, to, to cook in which way actually um, in the simplest term you know, usually any any food which is on the planner side on the, the flavor you may want to use white fish uh, white meat fish instead of red meat fish okay so choose any uh, white meat fish for this thank you very much I hope you like my video if you like my video do share my video on your Facebook to your friends Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.